The All-NBA teams were just announced. First team, LeBron for a record 12th time. Then you got Harden, Davis, Lillard. That caught people's attention, KD. Second team, Giannis, Westbrook, Embiid, Aldridge, DeRozan. Third team, Steph Oladipo, Carl Towns, and Jimmy Butler, and then PG-13. So, you and I want to talk about Dame Lillard. You want to talk about KD and Giannis. I'll talk about anything. All right, so Damian Lillard, member of the first team. Stephen, how do you feel about him making it over Russell Westbrook? I have no problem with Damian Lillard being on first team, but if you average a triple-double two years in a row, I don't understand how you're not on first team. A lot of those team, guys, a, a couple guys on there don't have, are not playing right now. A lot of those guys been at home. So for Russ not to be on there, that's the only problem. I, I wouldn't say take Dame off. I know you have to have five guys, but I think Russ definitely first team. Well, you got to make you got to make choices though. I'm, I'm glad I'm not voting. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm, glad I'm, I'm glad I don't have a only, vote because there's no way I could keep Russ off the you, list. You can only vote for two guards. I know. <laughs> I voted for Dame. I kept you Russ did? off the list. You did? How come? I just think, you know, Russ is, yeah, look, he averaged a triple-double. I don't particularly care. Uh, right. Dame is a way, way better shooter. Mm -hmm. uh, he is a more sort of egalitarian offensive player, and his team finished ahead in the standings with, I think, a supporting cast that had a lot lower expectations going into the city than the big OKC3 or whatever people were calling them. So I say reward Dame. He deserves it. And like you got, you can only pick five. You can't pick six. You got to right, pick five. Right. And you had Giannis in your MVP voting, correct? He was in your top five? Fourth. Okay. And so you would have put him on first team. Yeah, I had him over KD. I mean, he played, you know, KD missed 14 games. And statistically, they're, they're very similar. And I think defensively, Giannis was better this year. I don't understand why it was sort of... Like I didn't, I haven't looked at the voting yet, but I felt like it was just KD was kind of penned in there, and I didn't. Wow. It, now, now if he had played 80, if he had played 80, then he's in. But to me, the game's played. That it's it's splitting hairs, and that's where I'm splitting it. He, I, they're not on the same level. You, you, KD, <laughs> KD and Durant and uh, and uh, KD and uh, LeBron James, excuse me, are the top of the, the league. They're top of the top two players. You, you you can't put KD and and the Greek freak in the same category right now. Greek freak is great, don't get me wrong, but KD and, and uh, LeBron are on a level, different level right now. I just think the level of offensive responsibility Giannis has is the drive and kick, the assist, Can't the shoot. engine. Can't shoot, but like that's, I don't know that Milwaukee's record is any better if you switch them places and put KD with that supporting cast. Are you then penalizing KD forever for being on a team with other good players? No. Uh, to me, the games played is, is the most deciding factor, but he's, right. he's an outstanding player. I put him second. Field. Milwaukee probably still got, playing. When you've got two players that are truly equivalent and one has played more of a full season than the other, I can see using that to make the decision. It's really hard. To me, I, I kind of got to go with Steven's point that I think KD is a top of top two, top three player in the league. I think Giannis will maybe one bit, mm -hmm. maybe one of those players, but he's not there yet. I'm well, not that's sure why, that's why I put, is going to make the difference. That's why I put CP on third team because I do think at some point you just got to put the best guys on there, and he's again, I think this is like the second second year in a row, he's the most receiving votes that didn't make a team. To me, he belongs over some of those other guys. Well, this then goes back to the entire discussion goes back to maybe they need to change all NBA to be the best 15 players in the NBA mm -hmm. as opposed to doing it by position. There's been some movement for this. I have been campaigning for awards reform on several fronts. Uh, they've got to look at this. They, they just have to because we don't have anything in the league right now that, that sort of delineates these are our best players. There's no, not even MVP talks about, oh, who is our best player, right? It's who had the best season this year this particular mm -hmm. snapshot, we should have something that says these are the best guys in the NBA. I think it should be all NBA. And uh, you know, just the Agreed. hardest part, either one of those guys can make it just hard to see either one of them off because they both deserve it. Of course, absolutely.